Christmas. Welcome to the Tars Henry Channel Show, Cheeky Check-In, Episode 2. This is the Christmas special, the Christmas log, okay? This is my Christmas cardigan. I wear this every year to see my family in that. It's pretty good, isn't it? Um, yeah, so hello. Thanks for coming along. I hope you liked my uh, Christmas song. Um, it's a cover, sort of. But anyway, I hope you liked it. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're... I'm really excited about Christmas and everything and um, I hope you're full of the joys of this time of year. I'm struggling a bit if I'm honest with this time of year I do struggle my mental health um, I, I, I manage anxiety and depression and I'm, most of the time they are they're at bay most of the time I'm pretty good but I'll be honest at this time of year I do struggle a bit and things have been um, very busy here and um, it's been a bit crazy. Basically, last Saturday was a bit of a clusterfuck and I went and sat in my mum's house for about an hour and it turned out it wasn't my mum's house anymore because they sold it and moved out and it belonged to somebody else but they'd left the front door unlocked and I was just <laughs> sat in their house um, just just reading their newspaper, um, making myself at home. And I'd missed a, a sort of a, a dinner with my mum and my stepdad that I'd arranged um, to, to be at. So I went to wait in their house and it wasn't their house. And I haven't drank any alcohol for just shy of three years. I've had no alcohol. And this is partly how I manage my anxiety and depression. I just don't drink because I know that it's it's not good for me. Now, I'm not an alcoholic, but I am a, I wouldn't say a problem drinker. I'm just an idiot drinker. If I drink, I become an idiot. I become an idiot and I do stupid things and, and, um, it's, it's not, it's not good. It's not good if I drink. So, so anyway, I, I just, I'd got to this point where I was, my stress levels were like in the red and I, and I didn't, hadn't realised it yet. I just knew I was having a bad time. And so I just had this awful thing where this lady came into a, the house and was like, well, hello. And I was like, oh, yes, yes. Mm, I don't live here, do I? No, it's not, this is your, not my mum's house, is it? And I'd missed the, the dinner 
the restaurant dinner, which was booked by my mum and my stepdad too, with for me to meet them for dinner. And then I went shopping and my card got refused because um, I didn't have enough money in it. And, you know, uh, I was just, I went, I, I bought a litre of Bailey's and last Saturday I drank alcohol for the first time in nearly three years. And I won't be doing it again. Um, it, yeah, my diet last Saturday, I uh, was one litre of Bailey's and three sausages. So it was a, it was a proper um, Christmas diet, like a depressing Christmas diet or, or a fantastic Christmas diet. It depends on your outlook. I had so I got home. I bought. I, I basically I had enough money to buy some of my shopping, but not all of it. So I had to put some of it back. It was just um, I had, I had an old lady tutting at me uh, behind me in the queue. Um, it was Sainsbury's after all, so so you're gonna get a lot of um, you're gonna get you know some of the kind of, some sort of old ladies who tut. You're gonna get that kind of thing in in Sainsbury's. Um, Yeah, and I was I basically I I I'll I'll be honest. My Christmas cheer was well, there wasn't any there wasn't any Christmas cheer. So I got home last Saturday from the shops, and I was I was uh, well. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I I wanted to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have killed myself. I, I'm not going to kill myself. I want to be here, and I love my family, and I love my friends, and I. I have creative things that I want to do and I have a cat who loves me and needs me and um and I do believe things will get better and, and I know that they won't get better if I'm dead I also you know perhaps if there's an afterlife things will get better if I'm dead but they won't get better for for living Henry living this 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 thing won't get better so and I'm only halfway through so so I'm going to stick around your 40s apparently is the tough bit most suicides are in people who are aged in their 40s uh, that's that's the peak suicide time <laughs> um I'm just gonna this is I'm sorry I've got to be honest with you guys I'm just yeah I'm sharing it with you okay so um I got home and I was I just wanted to die. I wanted to die. And I thought, well, f you know, I, I, I um, started listening to some sad music, which was helping me feel better. I started drinking this Bailey's and I hadn't had alcohol for nearly three years. So that it suddenly, it, that kind of felt kind of good um, at first. And then I called my brother and spoke to my brother. And oh my word, within like five minutes, I felt loads better. And so, so if you're ever feeling right on the edge, um, speak to your family, because it speak to somebody. I mean, I knew I wouldn't do anything stupid, and I know because over and over in my life I've had these sort of um, crisis moments, and and afterwards my brother's always gone, "Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call me? Come on, dude! If you're ever feeling like that, call me." And um, I, know, I historically never have, but this time I thought, yeah, I'm going to call him. And I called him and I felt better. And um, I also reached out, I messaged a few people. I did an Instagram post, which was really sort of just right in the moment when I was feeling all of this stuff. And some people were really lovely about it and sent me some really nice messages. I met, reached out to some people and people reached out to me back. And, and, and anyway, I drank this Bailey's. And I woke up the next day and I felt like shit and I felt like shit for about four or five days. And I regretted the fact that it's nearly three years, basically, essentially three years of not drinking alcohol. And um, I'm not going to worry too much about the. I'm still as far as I'm concerned, I don't drink alcohol. If you give me some alcohol, I'm going to say no, I'm not going to drink it. So I can still say I don't drink alcohol. I know that that was a blip. It was a painful blip. I regretted doing it. Um, it didn't help the situation, really. But something had to give. <clears throat> and reaching out to all of my friends, reaching out to people, 
and talking to somebody meant that the next it kind of it really helped and this week has been a lot different it's been a lot easier and i felt a lot happier and i because i've known that oh crap you know i got to this point where i was overloaded i couldn't deal with with life anymore i was taking too much on there was too much pressure too much stress and i just wasn't dealing with it i was trying to plow through it all and just get everything done and just keep going and then suddenly it all goes wrong and I was and I realized I was just uh, you know I couldn't deal with it and I needed to stop I needed to talk to my friends and family and I needed to take it easy and take some of the pressure off so this week's gone a lot better I, I'm I, I've realized a few things about my attitude my feelings towards the way the way I'm carrying myself and the way I'm feeling towards life towards the world towards the universe I'm still I try to be very present I try to be very um in the moment and I and I try to be mindful and um you know I yeah I try to be sort of physically spiritually present I try to be aware of my awareness and um but I realized even though that I try to to be a sort of conscious, present human being, um, I my outlook has contained. I've I've, I've had a very negative outlook. Uh, well, not very negative. Just my outlook has not been. I've not been trusting trusting the universe, so to speak. I've tried to be at one with the universe, so to speak, in terms of being present and mindful and here and in the now and aware of my awareness and do you know what I mean like focused attention um it's yeah it's mindfulness basically it's spirituality it's eastern philosophy it's mindfulness in western traditions it's mental health maintenance being present and aware and um and um, the more you're in the moment, the, le the less you're wor um, regretting the past or worried about the future, the more you're living in the present moment, the, the better it is for your mental health and your well-being and the better decisions you make and the, the better you feel and the better your life works. So I try to do that. But what I've realised is, is even though I do do that, my I've realised that I need to have a better relationship with the world. I need to, I need to love and trust the world more. And it can be hard, but also humans. Humans. We need, we need that. We need to love and trust the world more. It's now Thursday. This is the night I'm filming this this bit. I did the my um, Christmas song. I did that yesterday. That was uh, Wednesday. Today's Thursday. I'm filming this, and then tomorrow morning, this is going to go come out on YouTube. So it's all very last minute because I've been very busy and I've been very occupied and I've been hungover as well. So it's just um, it's just it's just Christmas, isn't it? It's mad, and I've got two week. I've got some holiday. I've got a holiday come starting on on. Uh, Friday I break tomorrow I break up for, for my holidays for Christmas and what I've realized is tonight that I, that I'm going to take um I know this is only episode two um so for you guys you've had like one week of actual episodes you had a, one episode last week and a week later this is episode two <laughs> but I'm gonna stop now for a break for a, a few weeks um but I'll be back OK, in January, I'm not going to say when, which week in January. It might be in two weeks. I might be back in two weeks. I'm definitely going to, to have a break for a couple of weeks, at least maybe three weeks. OK, maybe four weeks. But I my my mental health and my ability to cope and and the fact that I've got two videos to edit for my longer Tars Henry Channel Show episodes 
and I've got my album. I want to sign off on every track, get every track fully done as far as I'm concerned, so it's ready to be mastered. Um, and it's I know that I struggle with with my mental health in January. I just do this time of year. I know I struggle so and I'm struggling now. I'll be honest. I'm struggling now. So. Um, yeah, it's OK. I'm OK. And this is it's all good. It's all good. Um, it's all good, but I'm I just need a break. I need a break and. Um, And if you need a break, you need to give yourself a break. If your family are pushing you and pushing you and pushing you, or your work are pushing you and pushing you and pushing you, you, you we're not, we can't, we're not machines. We're not machines. We need love. We need support. We need rest. And we, we need each other. You, if you're getting shit from someone or somewhere, then, or you're struggling in 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 any way, you need you need to talk to somebody about it. You need to share that with somebody. Don't just keep going because eventually it gets too much, and you it you just you can't cope anymore. And it fu you fuck up, and um, and I fucked up last Saturday. I fucked up. It went all wrong, and I just I had, it was like a blowout. I just it was just like Pow! I fucked it. You know, couldn't cope. Had to go home. Drank a liter of Bailey's and three. I ate three sausages all day. That's all I had, and. Um, yeah, it just we can't we're not machines and we need to take care of our mental health and we need to uh, balance and we need rest and we need love and we need to love ourselves and be kind to ourselves and know when we are at. At our limits, OK, and if people are demanding. You things of you beyond your limits, you need to say. You need to, it's hard to know. You don't always know when it's happening. But the minute, the more mindful you are, the more in the moment and present you are and aware of your feelings, aware of your thoughts, the easier it is to go, hang on, nah, no. I, I, this is beyond what I want. It's beyond what I'm willing to accept or do right now. I don't need this. You know, no, go away. OK, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. It's not going to happen. OK. You we need to protect ourselves. So anyway. Um, oh, sorry, this has not been a very perky, upbeat uh, Christmas special. I hope the music bit helped, but. But I'll be honest, I just haven't got much. There's not much. I don't have um, really a, much fun stories going on. I'm just I'm just very stressed at the moment. And and, and um, there's just a lot going on. So, yeah, but I hope you have a lovely Christmas and I hope you have a happy new year. And I will be back um, in a few weeks in January with some fun stuff, with fun things and good times. Um, I hope you have a good time and a lovely Christmas holiday and I hope everything goes really well. And if things get too much, reach out. If you're struggling, reach out. Not to me. Well, you actually do reach out to me. If you, if you want to say hi, if you're struggling, send me a message. OK. Talk to me. I know what it's like to struggle with anxiety and depression. I don't know much about other mental health issues but i know about those too i know a lot about anxiety and depression if you want someone to talk to i'm here too I, you can talk to me okay but anyway merry christmas and happy new year and you uh, take care of yourself all right 
Anyway, man's got to go. Man's got to go and edit this video and have some dinner and wash up and get ready for work tomorrow because I'm back at work for one more day before I break up for the holidays. But anyway, toodle pip and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. The Tar and Henry Channel Show.